Hello friends, welcome to my brand new video tutorial series. In this series, I'm going to build one modern online web store app. What I mean by word modern, that this app is going to capture all the behavior transactions rather than just capturing only transaction transactions. What I mean by behavior transaction is, so for example, if a user is browsing to your product or if you click on the product details, or if he has clicked on a couple of images on the product. So that means the user is showing interest in your product. I call this transaction is a behavior transaction. Earlier, when we used to use PHP or MyRuby, uh, Ruby on Rails, uh, those kind of technologies, uh, it was little difficult to capture those transactions. But in the new technologies like Angular 6 and Fire, Firebase, which is what I'm going to use in this application while building this app, I will show you how easy it is to capture those kind of behavior transactions in your app. And remember, all of these behavior transactions can lead to a future sales and can be used in marketing your products. This is going to be a complete progressive app and it's going to be a code along app. That means I'm going to write every single line of code live in these videos. Um, also, this app is going to be a complete progressive web app. You can host it on online, or I will show you later on that you can create a mobile app like you know uh, an Android app or iOS app, and I will show you how you can register it on Google Play. Also, I'm going to share the one final code uh, over my GitHub repository. As a matter of fact, this code is already in the GitHub repository. So if you are not interested in uh, the developer part of it, you can go ahead and download this entire source code for free right now. Um, and also you can make changes to this one um, as per your need or requirement. Um, but this is going to be a code along sessions. And this is just the part one. In follow up parts, I'm going to show you how to start Angular, how you guys can use different platforms like Bootstrap. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use Angular Material to build the layout of your website or the web app. And then you can, um, I'll show you how you to deploy it on the Firebase hosting. Uh, but before I do that, let me show you a very quick demo. Uh, as I can show, this already is, um, I have already hosted this on the firebaseapp.com. And I have a lot of apps out there, but this tutorial, this video tutorial series, I'm just going to cover the e-commerce portion of it. So as you can see, once you click on this one, it takes you to the login auth page. And here the user can log in with their, any email user uh, and password, or they can use the social app like Facebook or Google. In this case, I'm going to use the Google. So as you can see, it goes there and it checks out, uh, it validates your Google um, authentication. And if it's validated, uh, so pay attention to the right hand side of this one. This is a very dynamic uh, website. And once you click on the continue shopping, okay, see the color changes. Now it knows that you are already logged in. And not only it does that, it goes to the Firebase and it pulls all your previous cart application is out there. There's one more thing I keep on saying interesting on the behavior transaction. What I mean by behavior transaction is, so for example, I'm looking at this women's reading glasses or kids reading glasses. The moment I click on this one, what is this app is going to do? That means like I'm interested in this app. So once I click on this and suppose there are more than one images and click on this, those images. So that means I'm interested in your, in this product. So what my app is doing, all of this kid clicks I am storing those into the Firebase application. So that's what I meant by behavior transaction. But otherwise, it's a very simple app. Um, there will be an admin side of it. So as you can see right now, I have 43 products in my shopping cart. If I go back and add few more products, two more, and pay attention to this one, the moment I click on the add to the cart, this button is still disabled and uh, you will see my shopping cart is reflecting the new uh, number of items in my shopping cart. Also, there is one admin side of it. Um, Again, you'll be able to control who is the admin of your um, uh, of your web store is. And the admin, the only difference is the admin can um, add, edit, or update uh, your existing products. So for example, I have three products here. I can go back and update the description on this one. I can even offer the discount on this, this product. I can change the images on this one. So I'll walk you through entire um, code that you know how to, um, how to put this in a nice angular material data table, how you can add new products, edit new products, how can change the images. And, but the user is not going to see that. This is only the admin part of it. User is going to only see, see this, um, this layout. And here the user will be able to do a dynamic search on, the, um, uh, on your products. But again, 
So if a user is searching on a product, I think it's a good idea to store that information. That's the new website. Like, you know, if you if you browse through Amazon, Facebook, or uh, Alibaba, all the modern looking um, online stores, what they do, not only, you know, if you're ordering this, not only the order, they capture each and every single movement of a user. That's what I meant by behavior transaction. So in this modern online store, I'm going to uh, make use of Angular 6 and Firebase, and I'll show you how to deploy this. And I'll show you the more important thing is, is going to be a developer series. So I'm going to walk you through from start to finish. That means you will be starting from installation and then going page by page. And I'll walk you through single every single step. So stay tuned. Please subscribe to this uh, playlist. Please subscribe to this channel. Um, and again, if you are not interested in the developer series, if you want to code right now, I'll include the uh, link to my GitHub repository to this video description. Once again, thank you. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much.